Stuart, it's the uh, first time we've had a chance to, to catch up with you over the past couple of weeks. Uh, maybe a good chance just to reflect on what's been going on at the club, with firstly with the, the structural changes at 18s, with Liam Fontaine and Don Kerry now taking charge there. Yeah, we're delighted to, uh, to, to to announce that Liam and Don will be taking charge of the, the A-teams from, from now to the end of the season, certainly. Um, both guys have had a keen interest in, in the coaching side of things um, and we just feel that this gives us an opportunity to maybe streamline things a little bit with the, um, with the children, the youth and the, um, the professional uh, academy side of things. Um, it's, it's, it's a brilliant opportunity for the guys and, and one that we're delighted to, to offer them. Um, just firstly with their experience, their knowledge of the game, um, and, and obviously just the fact that what it will now allow is, is, is for the likes of Brian Irvin and, and Richard Hastings to focus purely on the youth academy. We feel that the guys have maybe been stretched across a couple of different um, avenues of, of late and, it, and, it, and that can be difficult in itself. Um, and, and along with the help of Richard Britton, Don and, and Liam will be able to um, be able to focus their attentions on the under 18s. As I say, it's it's great experience for them. It's great experience for the for the young players to, to work with these guys, um, and also with, with the work that Richard Britton does here. It, it, it just all comes together well. It knits together well, and it's something that we are looking forward to. And I know the guys have got a real passion for. I need to also stress the fact that they're, they're they're a big part of what we do here in terms of players as well. Um, but we just feel that we can we can manage the situation and get that kind of dual role where um, we're getting the most uh, best of both worlds from them. Um, and, I, and I wish them all the best for it. It's going to be an exciting time for them over the next the next ten games and, and, and something I'm sure they'll relish. As, as you said there, that obviously Liam and Donna they're infectious characters within the first team, and hopefully that can radiate through to, to the younger ones as well. Yeah, I think um, I think if you ask a lot of the guys in the first team dressing room that they're, they're two guys that they would go and speak to for a bit of advice and obviously with their experience and where they've been and what they've done, they're, they're guys that you you would listen to their advice. So some of your younger players I know would, would do that within our dressing room um, and it's great that the, the under-18s lads can now go and do that with, with the two guys and, and as I say, I'm sure they'll enjoy it over the next the next period of time. And just moving on to, to first team affairs, Stuart, it's obviously extremely disappointing with the news of Billy McKay missing the rest of the season. However, the positive for Billy would be that he's one player of the month. Yeah, it's, um, f from our point of view, we're, we're, we're delighted with, with how Billy's done over the course of the season. My, myself and Stephen earmarked him as a 20 goal a season striker. We know his capabilities, we know how infectious he can be when he's in your, your team. Um, Obviously it was bittersweet, he managed to get his hat-trick goal and it was a, a pretty severe injury and, and we wish him all the best. He's been about the football club, he's he's been in, he's been bright, he's got a smile on his face and, and we think he'll still be he'll, he'll still have a big part to play around about his teammates run, uh, around the football club. But what a contribution he's made to us this season and, and, and what it is now is, is just to make sure that we can get him right. He's obviously been through an operation to, to correct the problem and, and as I say, we wish him all the best. I'm sure he'll be back to his, his absolute best when the arm heals. Um, and, and hopefully, as I say, he can be that, that help in and around the place where, where the type of infectious character is and, and the intelligent type he is when it comes to that, that forward player mentality. So I'm sure he'll be a big help to the guys that are in position to, uh, to play in that area of the pitch. On, on other injury news, sure, obviously Ian Vigers has missed a period of time as well as Sean Kelly, but it must have been a positive for yourself and Stephen seeing Ian get 45 minutes against Kilmarnock Reserves. Yeah, he's been out for a long period of time, and it's it's, it's obviously been a been a loss to us when you've got somebody with that kind of quality. Been out. Sean's been the same. Sean's Sean's done terrific for as well. He's been fit, um, and it's good to see Sean's back out in the pitch training this week. Ian's been able to play uh, 45 minutes for the reserves and, and back into first team uh, training sessions. This slight setback there on, on Thursday, so we just need to assess that and, and, and see how we move forward with them. But fingers crossed, it's nothing too serious, and we can just progress things from this point. With the, with the 10 day break we've now had from, from games, does that give a, a freshness to the squad now looking ahead to tomorrow's game against Greenock Martin? Their plan was clear, the players again, we, we try to, we try to emphasise that to them, with the Partick Thistle game, the Air United game, were, were, were six massive points for us as, as far as we could see with, the, with the, 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 the period that we'd had and the number of games and the intensity of the games, it was a difficult spell for us for us to get through those two games with six points and a little bit of adversity in there as well was great that we dealt with that um, but what we wanted to do was give the players a couple of days off we've been I think we've been the only team in the in the country that's had a game every single weekend since the start of the season so it was imperative that we were able to regroup and, 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 and 
try and rejuvenate the players, try and get them fresh coming back into this period. They've certainly come in this week looking really, really sharp and mentally strong, um, and that was everything that we'd kind of hope for. So it's it's important that we follow that through with a, a big performance tomorrow against against Morton and making sure that we're we're on the front foot and that we're the aggressors in the game looking to try and win it. Just finally, sure. Talking about tomorrow's game against Morton, it's been a, a big contrast in results against them this season, obviously with them winning twice down there and us winning quite heavily up here, it, it does have the making to be a really good game. It does, I think you've, you've seen both sides of it, we, we probably feel as if we had good spells uh, down at Capital, albeit we weren't our best, but we had good spells in the game, probably dominated large parts of it. Um, and we've lost both games down there, we're not going to try and get away from that fact. We've only lost four games this season and two of them have been at Capolo, so obviously there's a, a determination amongst us to, to make sure that we try and get, a, get the correct result that, 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 that we want. Um, but the flip side of that was, was one of our better performances here was, was a 5-0 victory against them earlier in the season. I think there'll be a different proposition. They've obviously off the back of some, some po positive results. Um, I'm, I'm currently on my pro licence at the minute with Jorin Johansson so somebody that I've had an opportunity to speak to and, and, and obviously he's an intelligent guy, he's a, um, a, a kind of mild mannered guy that, that's, that's got really good football intelligence so I'm, I'm pretty certain that he'll have his team set up in such a way that it's difficult for us to play against so we, we've, got to be, we've got to be on our mail and making sure that we're ready, ready to go come Saturday and, and deal with the problems as we have done in, in recent weeks, you know, the, the adversity of going two goals down to Partick Thistle, we're going to see those types of scenarios between now and the end of the season, it's how you, re you respond, it's how you react to them um, and, and certainly the last two games have been a, a great show of character for us um, when things have went against us and, and to make sure that we stay positive and do the right things on the pitch. Sure, we wish you all the best for tomorrow. Thanks.